long time no seen. It's been almost two and a half years since I was last on the London Loop, but I finally decided to make a return visit, and I've travelled back to Enfield Lock and going to walk down to Chigwell, which is about eight and a half miles. Then there's another two sections after that, which I hope to complete over the next three or four Fridays, depending on um, distances, weather, etc. So, we're about to set off. I've just got off at Enfield Lock and... Uh, yes, I was right. This is the uh, Turkey Brook. And uh, I've just seen a white heron. Of course, wasn't quick enough to get the um, camera out and video it. But uh, that's a uh, pretty positive uh, start to the walk. Right, this is Enfield Lock. There's the old cottages and there's the old lock house. And then in the background there, those buildings over there is the old small arms uh, factory so we're in Enfield we're on the Lee navigation hence that's how the rifles got their name Lee Enfield. Right, this is a flood relief uh, river it's not really a river is it because it's flood relief and behind that bank is the St George's Reservoir and over in the distance there is the uh, waterworks and those hills on the distance are the Stewardstone Hills. Right, I'm uh, getting closer to the Stewardstone um, Hills here. Across this green and up that hill and I'll be there. Right, these are the um, William Gurling and the King George V Reservoirs, part of the Lee Water Navigation System. And in fact, it supplies a quarter of London's water. Quite impressive. It's quite muddy um, around this part, which is um, circumnavigating the Scouts headquarters. <coughs> but fortunately, um, I wore my walking shoes. But more fortunately, there's lots of good signposts, so I don't have to worry too much about navigation because I pick them up pretty quickly. Okay, I've arrived at um, Chingford and uh, I, got a, I was on the phone to the plumber because he can't find a pipe, and so I went the wrong way. And instead of coming down on the right hand side of the uh, no, the left hand side of the golf course, I came down on the right hand side of the golf course, but anyway. I'm now back on track and I'm now walking across this plain. Right, this is the um, Queen Elizabeth Hunting Lodge. Originally, the first and second floor would have been completely open to enable Queen Elizabeth to have a view over the people hunting across Epping Forest, which is behind me, to the left of me, to the right of me, and the other bit which I missed out. Now, apparently, in the leg end bit here, that's a, a stairway. Anyway, carry on. Oh, well, the um, sun's come out, warmed my uh, shoulders a bit. I don't think it's going to stay out for long. Uh, it's nice while it's here. One of the many items of wildlife I've seen today. When I was in Buckhurst Hill, I saw half a dozen deer. But once again, I was too slow to get the camera out to photograph them or even film them as I'm doing here. Right, this is a lake that's in the Rodding Valley Recreation Park and apparently <coughs> it's a gravel pit which they use to extract gravel uh, whilst building the M11 which we're going to walk under shortly. When I say we, that's metaphorically speaking because I'm the only one actually walking under it because you're not because you're just watching the film. As the sun sets over the Rodding Valley, my walk from Enfield Lock to Chigwell draws to a close as I watch the sun setting in the far distance. Only a few more metres to go until I arrive at Chigwell Underground Station for my journey back to Kent. Well, SE9. So the end is here. I've arrived at Chigwell Station. Not too short the time is. So I mislaid my watch, but I imagine it's just gone nine o'clock, and I forgot to say. And I forgot to say, <laughs> I always have to do this, see you next time.